All right, orcs. Orcs versus dark elves. It's a bit tough for the dark elves. He's got a mighty blow. He's got a thrower. He's got a block. He's zero one two. That's good. Doesn't have an apple though. Um, so yeah, this is a, this is a bit tricky, isn't it? A bit tricky this one. But you know, I shall I shall remain positive. It's it's just tricky because he's got the strength in that, hasn't he? Um, Throw plus zero one two equals Jimmy loses. Yeah, he can hope dirt base base base, can't he? That's the uh, uh, no Vikings, no the uh, unfortunately today the Skaven uh, the Skaven drew and lost, so they're pretty much ended. So I thought I'd have a couple of games with Dark Elves while I was thinking about whether to go Pro Elves or Necro. I couldn't decide between Pro Elves and Necro, so I went Dark Elves just because I like Dark Elves. Yeah, I would like three catches and two blitzes in my pro elf team when they were fully developed. But yeah. Oh. Yeah. I guess I will lay. I'm, I'm not making really a dark, I'm not really making a dark elf run. I am just playing some a couple of games. I might I might I might be going for it, you don't know. It just depends, you know. I'm just playing some games for fun right now. Yeah, basically chatter dice. It was it was the team choosing it was the team choosing variation of Mighty Blow, yeah. Ah, could take Proils, could take Necro, could take Chaos. Fuck it, I'll just take Dark Elves because I like them. I haven't played them for a, for a while as well, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Pedro. <laughs> Winning is fun, yeah, a lot of the time. A lot of the time it is. Did you get like a 1500 team or something? So I don't know what they do. Ah, that's his, that's his defense. Okay. High Hiles is actually more competition than Dark Elves. Historically. Uh, obviously, this season maybe is a bit different. Do I even care about blitzing? No. Fair enough, so I don't know. He has missed a throw. Roll the blitz. Falls in the end zone. He's going to hurt dirt base everyone. He's getting a mighty blow hit. This is going to be tough. Both which is a strength fall. Pretty good. Pretty good. Would I rather play a Goblins. Definitely Goblins. Oh, no. Because base, base, base. Goblins are just this a lot more. Fail. I don't know. I did I'm okay with the Halflings last season. But, um, yeah, but then uh, it's funny because obviously trees, trees are better than trolls. The one turns better, the star players are better for halflings. Uh, what's it called? Secret weapons are a bit shit. Um, but goblins are so much better than halflings. Like the actual, an actual goblin is so much better than an actual halfling. Um, but yeah, obviously the, 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 the secret weapons are fun, even though they're not very effective. Alright, he's actually done a terrible job here. He appears to not know. He appears to not know how assists work. So, as bad as him getting a blitz was. <laughs> Mr. Positive says, and and embracing everybody with strength four. Um, you know it's going to be, it is it is tough, but at least he appears to not understand the fundamentals of blood ball. <laughs> <laughs> 
So that's that's something good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's that's good. Yeah, basing dash four is good. It is good because I, I don't wanna, I don't have to roll two plus dodges of two rerolls. No dodge. Well, only one dodge. Oh, 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 murder death kill has been confirmed in the champs ladder. That's glorious. <laughs> if you fail, if you base, if you base at least one of them, maybe they've got a good chance of failing. Haven't they? This is he's going to do the one dice blitz at last action, isn't he? But it's really horrible getting everyone based. I just can't make two dice blocks, can I? But I mean, the good thing is that he appears new to football. Well, raw poor light. <laughs> There's, I'd, I'd much rather a bad player was getting a blitz against me than a good player was getting a blitz against me. Um, for a start. And there's two ways of looking at it. There's two ways of looking at Robo Lloyd. On the one hand, um, if, if Champ's Ladder wasn't Champ's Ladder, and it was, uh, it was just, you know, like NAF Ladder, if it was like NAF style with nothing on the line, then I would rather play good players all the time. But, it's not. It's, uh... It's... Right, 2D him, blitz there. It's not you're trying to, you're trying to, uh... We're not, yeah, could serve mighty blow, but uh, it would take a lot of luck. Um, but seeing as you're trying to qualify, and the other people, you know, are, are going to be playing, like, you know, kind of poorer players who are trying to qualify. If you want to just try to qualify, then um, obviously you want weaker players so that you get a better win rate. So. It's uh, win rate wise, you want to play you want to play poor players. Obviously, having a having a good game wise, you'd rather play good players. But there's a, there's a time and a place for wanting a good game, isn't there? And uh, not so much wanting a good game in Champs Ladder as as just wanting to win every game. Oh, I mean, if if I if if the if Champs Ladder didn't exist and there was no five hundred euros um, on the line, you know, if it was just pl pointlessly playing to fill in the day, then without any doubt, the way the way I would like to play would be NAF style versus you know purple goo every single game. That that is that would be my dream. Um, <laughs> you know, that would be absolutely great. Or like, you know, Purple Goo and, you know, Stone Troll and, you know, Joe Manji and, and all them lot. Every single game, that would be great. Spartaco, Ducky, Andy Devo, you know, playing those kind of guys every single game, all day long, with eve perfectly even teams, would be great. But, when it's Champs Ladder, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind stomping on noobs, <laughs> you know? It's because you want you want to qualify, don't you? Yes, that's true, Johnny Five. But then that's the thing, isn't it? I haven't I haven't got it sorted out yet, and I haven't promoted it yet. And uh, so at the moment, the NAF ladder is a bit. It's dead, isn't it? I'm loving the fact that he can't set up an assist for his mighty blow hits. <laughs> Maybe. This is going to be tough though, still. 
despite the fact that he doesn't know how to make a two dice block still getting based by everybody every turn is still hard isn't it <laughs> yeah, that's true, Tony. That is true. <laughs> Fifteen hundred orcs feels bad. Uh, so I've got some some juicy one dice blit blocks to start here. It's really tough, isn't it? This is really tough. I think I have to start the turn with a with a dodge here. Blitz him, move him in there, one dice block him, move him in there, two dice block him, and then still I just don't see how I stop getting blitzed by this guy. Maybe I'll put the ball here. Fail Fail the first dice roll? Classic. I guess I could have used him, but then. Ooh, I'm a break. <laughs> yeah, just roll 10 2 plus without one. It's failed at step one. Um. Right. Need a. Uh, one dice block here. Got him. Two dice block there. Failed. <laughs> this is really going to be really tough, this game, isn't it? A bashy team against Chaos. Uh, probably just play for a 2 0 <laughs> victory. But it depends on the TV, Null Patrol. Um, if it's a high TV, then play for a 1 1 draw, probably, and hope you, hope you receive and score on your half. And then see how much team of the left you've got in the second half and see what happens. At high TV, at low TV, probably just beating 2 0 because this team's shit. <laughs> you just battle the fuck out of him. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> uh, even TV match. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, though, and I can it would at least be fair, wouldn't it? That's the thing. I don't think it was just that. I think the variety comes from the champs ladder having the different uh, the different qualifiers and stuff. Yeah, obviously, bash is always going to be the most prevalent because people care about protecting their team more than winning games. Yeah, thankfully, there's enough elf bodies in the way. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Luckily, luckily, all the dead elves get in the way of it. I got stunned as well with that ball down. Christ, this is really brutal at the moment. Really fucking brutal. Or better, depending on your point of view, Gwenarkin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, Carlo Angelotti. I'm pretty sure that that most people don't want to be down TV. I'm pretty sure most concessions come when people are down TV. Right. He can come back, he can 2D, he can stand up, he can 2D, go here, get an assist from a 2 plus dodge. So, we go back to here. That is simply not true. Well, the Mesa does not One, two, support three. your assertion. Here. All right. Pass. 
Paladin. No, they got knocked down by a Blitz and everybody being based and me failing two pluses um, and two dice blocks. <laughs> um, it's pretty good. Just getting based by higher strength, you know, everybody based by higher strength is tricky. Low TV, you haven't got the bludge to get yourself out of it reliably. Maybe I should have gone here, it been riskier though, wouldn't it? God, the armor breaks. Wow, I've been really lucky, to be fair. That's done, that's done, and that KO. I've been really lucky with the armor breaks. Not so good on the dodges. I was going to dodge these guys out as well. Wow. Yeah, he's blitzed, he's blitzed me and he's got the blitz and then he's based every turn and I've just failed the first dodge, <laughs> you know, a few times, the, the two dice blocks a few times, but, um, and only two rerolls, you know, if I had loads of dodge, then obviously it's nowhere near as scary, and if I had a third reroll, it'd be nowhere near as scary, but as it is, it's, it's hard. <laughs> yep, imagine that, imagine that, Jelly Deals. Though obviously if it was a blitzer, then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI, GFI, it'd still be difficult. I don't know, it would be double GFI, but then I would have just stood here and then. I'd have been in a much better spot actually. Back in the day, it, that was really long ago, Miffy. Yeah, that was second. Second dead was uh, second dead was first to three touchdowns within a minute of turns. Yeah, <laughs> which uh, yeah, not living with two. No, sec second edition. Um, second edition blood ball. That was that was what it was. Um, yes, that was screen different. Uh, it made bash teams the only teams, in fact, <laughs> obviously. Just everyone's dwarves. Let's murder the other team. Um, then they brought out dodging. Um, dodging from blocks, which then made werewolves the, the best thing. Um, so, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Second dead. It was just, you know, second dead was just stupid. Really. Very, very different game, yeah. Very, very different. And then they got a... Uh, <laughs> yes, that's what I Um Ganging up, yeah, ganging up and, and it being able to dodge changed everything. Basically, that made dwarves a lot worse. Alright, there's a way to break through, but not anymore. <laughs> and breaking through, how much no, I can break to the side, I guess. Hopefully, maybe make a dodge roll. Um, yeah, that's it. And there wasn't a time before you could dodge, no scroll, dude. Um, so what happened was, right, when, when you blocked, when you blocked somebody, right, you compared their strength. Rolled 2d6, added the difference, added or subtracted the difference in strength, and then looked it up on a table. Um, and what this meant was that dwarves being strength 4 and 5 would beat the living fuck out of everybody. Um, then they brought out this mechanic whereby you could dodge, and if you elected to dodge a block, then um, it was the agilities that were compared. Um, and, you know, with... with you know, kind of different things. Right, I've just got to start the turn with one dice blitz. Literally the only option. Now, you can two dice him. I'm doing insane on the, uh, on 
on these blocks, on the armor breaks. Um, he just stands up, I guess. The problem is now, I should have pushed him to here. No, 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 it's okay. Blitz is gone. I've still got this block. I have to go to here, don't I? I've blocked myself. Oh well, it was just a push anyway. Shame that I can't hit him. Feeling this one's better, isn't it? Alright, so got some players up at least. So what happened was, so so you had like you know, let's uh, let's imagine for the sake of the truth <laughs> that um, dwarf dwarf blockers were strength five, agility one, and they could have been agility two actually. I think they're agility one. Dwarf blockers were strength five, agility one, and elf linemen were strength three, agility three. Yeah, I think they were. I think they were. Um, so. If a dwarf blocker was to punch an elf lineman, he would roll two dice and have two. So then when they brought up this dodging mechanic so that you could try and dodge, and then it would be two dice minus two. So the, the, the chart was different that you rolled on for a dodge, but it meant that you weren't smashed to pieces by high strength things all the time. So yeah, that, that, that's what dodging was in second edition of the ball. Sorry that it took me a while to spit that out, but it was a pretty tricky turn just then. The first time he make, actually gets to make a two dice block, kills a guy. <sighs> oh, this is horrible. <laughs> this is really fucking horrible. Stand him up and two dice him. Oh, one dice block. He could block him. Stand him up, block him, so then it doesn't even achieve anything. Oh, it does, then he could blitz him. I could maybe come through this way. So now there's a two dice block here and then, oh right, so things can happen now. Right, he could dodge away at the end. He can stand up. Nah, just a fucking push. <laughs> this is really rough. <laughs> okay, he has to dodge here, so then he can two dice block him, but then he might as well just one dice block him, because that's a two plus. Good. Yeah. 
she could just blitz uh, dodge and he could also dodge so the blitz could come on this guy the guy on the ground first. Whew. That was uh was horrible only getting the push at first, but uh in the end rolled some two pluses and <laughs> He, he, I guess he just kind of overcommitted a bit, didn't he, with it going around the sides there a little bit. Thanks, Philly. Whew. It was getting a little crowded, but... <laughs> it's five dodges in a row, the next one will fail. Two of them with dodge. <laughs> <laughs> And now just stalling for three turns should be should be maybe doable, shouldn't it? Oh, he gets but he powers my non blodger. <laughs> so unlucky. To be fair, the uh the, the stuns and the KOs I got were pretty huge in allowing me to uh, to have the space, wasn't it? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have gone into tight here, maybe I should have gone here to... I was thinking about going here, but then he can just blitz and get in, whereas now it's... There's a bit more things, isn't there? Yeah, the rattle good does draw people away. I mean, I think that is the best thing about the rattle good. People, people focus on him a bit too much and it opens up space for the cutters. And then also he's a fucking three dice mighty blow guy, isn't he? And sometimes that fucking wins games and wins drives. Yeah, going around the back is is uh, is a possibility. Yeah. With our, I mean, with the movement nine, if anyone's going to do it. Then. G if I had one dice. High risk. High risk. Bastard gets a pop. <laughs> Don't really mean he's a bastard. Just a figure of speech. Right, I hate. I really hate going for this dodge. So I guess I do block, even though it means I might have to use my reroll. Um. And then just dodge with these guys. If I dodged, if I dodge first. I think I block here. Could block with block, but no, I'd rather get the, the movement. No, 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 but then he he can dodge back. Yeah, okay, let's go with this block. Because he can still, uh, he can still reposition, can't he? Oh my god, get the cows. Disgusting. Four sixes. Oh no, one is a five. So that's like five six. Six six, five six, isn't it? Pretty lucky. Because mm, I could have done with this guy actually, that would have been better. Because now we left him in contact. <laughs> um. Yes, it is. <laughs> ah. <laughs> totally out bashing Hawks, yeah. 
<laughs> no, the old guy was. Uh... Oh, look at that! Isn't he lovely? Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he didn't learn how to make the two dice blocks. I need a video about making two dice blocks, don't I? Is is what I need. If I go on the sideline, one, two, three, four, five. You can also squeeze me on the sideline. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, he's got an oak thrower. <laughs> yeah, he's got an oak thrower. And uh, I started playing blood ball not long ago. Ah. Yeah, I thought he was new. Level eleven, isn't he? Eleven, eleven coach. Somebody said. I need both of these dodges. I guess this is the most important one. Come on. Yes. Ah. And best friend ended up telling me about your YouTube channel. Yeah. Yes. Does not make too late, well, Thanks, Alpha. Um. <laughs> yeah, Jelly. Sweet. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Tony. <laughs> right, that's a screen there, isn't it? <laughs> no calling me cuts, it does yet. I'm not calling anybody a cut. All right, new relief. I blocked myself here, didn't I? Actually, I blocked these dodges away by making that follow, but then I liked keeping him occupied. Still worth trying for, isn't it? Oh god, I'm so lucky. Oh god, I'm disgustingly lucky. Right, not gonna try these other two, they can stay lying down. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's true, Astro Tor, but by having him one further away. It makes it one closer, it makes him easier to reach, doesn't he? Though actually not in this way, this would be what, 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus? And he wouldn't have to GFI. Yeah. Maybe I should have gone here. Or here, and thought about doing this. Yeah. But yeah, it's, that's the thing, you know, I've, I've put them two squares away and then been hit because I was two squares away. And then I've put them two... Three squares away, sorry, and then I've put them two squares away and then the ball's gone out because of it, so... <laughs> yeah, I made those just after moving which Yeah, so it's, it's hard to know, isn't it? It's hard to know what to do. Right, we'll get, we've got equal bashing now. We've both got a KO on us and an injury. Yeah, so it's hard to know, isn't it, which is the best. Which is the best way of doing it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything like that. <laughs> oh god. I could say I'm streaming on Twitch, but uh. Glorious! <laughs> wow, there's like bubbles or something. <laughs> Thank you very much, Vani89. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Oh Team Positivity now. Thank you very much. Um <laughs> I should say that about the development. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, worst case scenario. But then, you know, it is making it easier for him to get hit if you if you go to it. Away. Like, so it's, who knows, isn't it? New. <laughs> New. Jim <gym> rocks. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Johnny Five. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that was a real thing that PC suggested isn't it right um so now i can go here <laughs> because now these guys make that pretty safe and uh could punch his fucking orc thrower out of spite. That seems good. Smash the armor eight, dickhead. 
<laughs> I'll get fucked. <laughs> How'd you like that? Oh, I rolled an 11. Could have done it. Could have done it to a real player. Oh, wow, rolling all the two pluses now. Dice for days. <laughs> All right. Thanks, I'm too new for you. <laughs> Movement 10 sprint show feet ward on the By using my glow. Oh dear. <laughs> yep, it does AV, it makes a huge difference. Um, oh, Hummer's F, come on, don't test me. Don't test me. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was maybe not the best video to make for new players. I can see the logic behind, behind it. Because, you know, if, if, if somebody's struggling with bloodlust, but, you know, I just think it, uh, it takes all the power out of the roster. So I don't agree with it. Didn't hover over the skull there. Pro tip. It didn't kill him. Should have rolled like I did against the uh, against the overthrow. Flawless. Kill all men. It's the biggest jump, isn't it? Armor seven to armor eight. Well, it's not the biggest, obviously. The biggest is like two to three or whatever. But um, it's a huge jump from seven to nine. A huge jump in survivability. do a pro tips positivity shouldn't I? <laughs> that would be good. Uh, wow he's really unlucky to fail both there but I mean I'm unlucky to fail one as well. We'll see what happens second half. He put me in didn't he to, uh, to, to receive. Actually counter a natural one turn I'd probably backline it. Just backline it. And uh, Six to seven, yeah. Yeah, biggest is six to seven, but six six to seven is not a real one, is it? <laughs> you know? Like, what's armor six? A halfling. So, realistically, it's the biggest jump in, in of real players, seven to eight. Yeah, I think two is way too conservative. That's why I, that's why I, uh, that's why I dissed it, because I just thought it was ridiculously conservative. And, uh, and, and I just thought it was, I just thought it was not really. Yeah, down to seven, yeah. Pro tip for staying positive when it's I have been positive for like three days or something now. It's unbelievable. Yes, that is the bad thing about Dark Elves, is, is they're, they're really solid at like m low mid and mid TV, but at high TV they don't get the tools that other, that other teams get, basically. They, 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 always, they always kind of play fair, don't they? They don't get, they don't get a one-turner and they don't get claw, so... Top end, they're lacking, really, Dark Elves, but I still like them. Yeah, I think three or four. I think, <laughs> I think three or four is what I would have said. Um, <laughs> Johnny Fell. Hmm. 
<laughs> no, I'm, I'm really not. I'm really not. All the broccoli, yep. The broccoli and chicken and rice. Oh, baby. That's good strategy, okay? Hello, one goblin. Yeah, fuck fans anyway and play a proper team. That'd be my guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, what's what's happened? Is he is he uh, lost connection or something here? It's stuck on two fifty nine, isn't it? Um, I'd like to welcome to my uh, vampire guide, and uh, my starting vampire roster would be um, probably six Saurus, a Croxigore. Four skinks and two rerolls because I wouldn't fucking play vampires. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's a good guide. <laughs> Yeah, that's true, Valenic. Yeah, so I, I like the I like the more high risk builds in Champs Ladder, because because yeah, the pay like so you know uh, oh yeah that also goes my Kemri guide and <laughs> and my Ogre guide as well yeah. <laughs> Although I actually did a real Ogre one, which was bizarre. Um, yeah, I think I think Hot Dice is definitely so like stuff like Inarians. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd like, yeah. As long as you've got two war dancers, the rest of your vampire team doesn't matter. Uh... <laughs> uh... No, he has disconnected. Oh. Yeah, in our own setup, like, you know, it's, it's, it would be horrible nine times out of ten, it's horrible. Because you don't want to take no rerolls, it's incredibly risky. But the payoff is there if in your first game you make three completions and score a touchdown and you've got a thing and you can keep resetting until eventually you get the hot start. So starts like that are good. Starts like, you know, anything where you load up on plays instead of rerolls or, or, uh, or apples is obviously better for Champs Ladder because you can just restart until you get a good start. Like a zero throw raw start for Kemri is fine in Champs Ladder. Because you can just restart until you get a two touchdown blitz to start and stuff true. like that. So, um, yeah, exactly. Flip a burrito. That's, that's why I use them. Um, yeah. So, so you know, so for champs ladder, but yeah, in the World Cup, I did. I thought it was pretty. I thought it was pretty wild using it in the World Cup uh, by Narian because. Uh, yeah, Dells were the best team player then. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, throw throw rars, throw rars are all right, but it's just fitting everything in the in the starting roster. I think the starting roster, starting without throw rars, is better. You're just better on defense because you get the extra reroll, and as long as you roll all right on offense, you're you're basically just as good on offense. And you uh. It, it didn't go tits up actually. Funnily enough, Inarian's ridiculous one re zero reroll start paid off perfectly in the World Cup. He won all the early games where he had no reroll. He finally he fa he had a leader. Finally bought a reroll, got the uh, yeah two reroll, got the apple, and then he just got beaten by a dwarf, uh, diced to death by Bucky. Uh, yeah, he just got diced to death by Bucky. Three completions of that roll. Yeah, but it's th from a thrower, thrower to a passer. Uh, you know, he starts from throwing a catcher and uh, or three catchers and a thrower, and you just you get three completions on his thrower and scores a touchdown. Oh, that's good. So black hawk out is huge. Come on, yes. Blitzer back is huge. All right. Yeah, that is true. Astro tar. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe blitzer should cost eight. Right, so got the nine players, and uh, yeah, so sorry, ten. Ten versus nine, got a man advantage against Orcs. He's still got his mighty blow though, so that can change in an instant. Kemri did have four mummies, yeah. Yeah, with general access, because I made a team, I made a team on Fumble that was... Uh, 
that was that was Kemri, and I got block on all of them, so that when they were uh, when it was, you know, when it was grandfathered, I would have four block mummies. Um, on a Kemri team, I'd be the only person with four block mummies, but then. Just roll better dice, yeah. I've pretty much diced him here, haven't I? But you know, on the other hand, he was giving up blocks to try and put the pressure on, and he was putting a lot of pressure on, and I was having to roll some some dice to stay in it there. Um, obviously, in the end, he gave us a little bit of a hole there to, to punch through. But um, obviously, I got lucky with, uh, with actually our bashing in the half. But it, it wasn't so crazy, I think. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, wolves with catching without region. <gasps> Blister eyes do have sweet handbrake. Oh, right. Don't know if that's good or bad or indifferent. Yeah, they could improve a lot of shit teams, yeah. But they, the BBRC and their infinite wisdom thought they had buffed. Um, thought they had buffed fouling. Well, it's not why Wilhelm has cash their runners. That is not true, Astro Tor. The reason that they had that Wilhelm has cash and they used to have cash was just a funny joke because dogs fetch, isn't it? That's that's why it is. Yeah, he needs to he needs to play more and watch more. I guess. I think he's uh, you know, he he wasn't really getting how assists work. I think uh, you know, I should what I should do is look at the art of blocking and uh, try to make a video about that. And setups as well. I think they're the two biggest things for, for newbies, aren't they? Is how assist, how tackle zones work, how assists work, how block, get blocking. You know, if you just set up in a normal setup to block everyone, <laughs> Dode could make use of that as well. Um, if you just set up everybody in a prop on the line to block and that, it would have been it would have been a much better, wouldn't it? Much better spot. And and if he was making two dice mighty blow blocks instead of one dice mighty blow blocks. What you do is Brett versus Orcs uh, lose probably Ladger Crutch. I think, I think that Brett versus Orcs is like a horrible, horrible, horrible matchup that's almost unwinnable for the Bretts. Yet Ducky uh, managed managed it <laughs> with Orcs against Brett because the Bretts just you know had Palm and just cast him every single block and just so just dice the hell out of him. So the answer is dice the hell out of your opponent is what you should do. That's how you win. That's how you win. Just literally dice the hell out of your opponent. That is how Brett's win against them. Obviously, I'm just going to blitz him. First action. Don't care about standing this guy up. Had to blitz his mighty blow. I was just... Uh, I just had to. Right, now, now I can do the safe move at some point. I could move him there, but then if I, I if I get a push on base, so I, I've got to do the block first. Right, get the knockdown. So then can do that move. Being a little bit further forward. Try to get a bit of heat on the ball here. See what he does. I did have a Brett team with a strength five guy. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Yeah, I could have maybe gone for the ball. Skaven would have gone for the ball. But yeah, Bretts aren't that bad. Yeah. Probably could have done, but it would have taken dice rolls, and I just think I'll get a better chance there, basically. Going pretty positively, Frank Furter, thanks. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, obviously enough, because they get blodged, blo don't they? I mean, when they didn't get blodged, they were shit. But, um... I mean, they're doing great in all CC, aren't they? Is it all CC? The pid pads won twice in a row with Brett's. 
But you can't really draw any conclusions from that, can you? <laughs> All right, <laughs> <I'm so free>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good for burrito. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So, so it tells you more about how good Pitpad is than how good Bretts are, doesn't it? So, yeah, exactly. Um, so you can't really take draw many conclusions from from a low low sample size data sets. They're all right, though. They're all right. They're actually all right. You know, it's they're, they're just like humans, aren't they? Really, they've got um, they've got they they've got a good matchup against like el they, well, not a good matchup. They beat up elves quite well. Um, oh, yeah, block. I didn't realize that. Right. I don't want to assist with her. Assist with him. I, would have, I think I would have taken the push there if I'd, if I'd known what I was doing. If you're not going to blitz, that's the question. Nobody, I guess. Blitz with a blitzer. So it's a safer block. Oh wow. Wow, Kaz. Outrageous. <laughs> I've been really lucky this guy. <laughs> I've been really incredibly lucky. Maybe I could have got more over this side. He's gonna push down this side now, isn't he? Maybe he should have come back further this way, actually. And then he could have gone there. I didn't need so much to stop the reverse, especially he's got Black Orcs. So yeah, this guy should have come a bit further down this way. Hello, Zagini. I've been really ducky this game. Yeah, I've been really lucky. Yeah, he probably has give, gifted us. I mean, he did there. That was that was from a gifted block, even though I decided to use my Blitz on it. He has given up blocks, yeah. He has given up blocks, but he's still unlucky, I think, to have taken that much. For sure. Um, yeah. I think he has been unlucky as much as he's given up blocks that he shouldn't have given up or didn't need to give up. Uh, though I can see why he did it with a blitz. I think I would have done pretty much the same as him from getting the blitz. Although I would have made a two dice blitz with, with Mighty Ball instead of a one dice blitz. Uh, but I would, have, I would have definitely gone all men's contact early on the way he did. And you know, so you're gonna you're gonna necessarily give up blocks, the way he did on defense, but uh, you know, just there a few blocks that he gave up there, he didn't there too. So. Yeah. yeah, it didn't kill a blob. No, it's a blitzer, a lineman, or cast, and then the bob is KO'd. Jimmy Lucktastic, yeah. I mean, that's still lucky. He, as much as he gave up blocks, he didn't have to give up. That's still incredibly lucky, of course. I don't have Mighty Blow. only have a few blocks. Um, he's on 12 now, after making two cars randomly. Positive streamer dice, yeah, maybe this is all I needed to do, eh? Right, 
Right, so I can get a one dice on the ball here easily. Can I get a two dice on the ball? Probably. Oh. Should have thought about what if I rolled a double skull, shouldn't I? Should have thought about that. I think I just go for the one dice. Oh my god, another armor break. <gasps> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <sighs> This is just actual insanity. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I am on the right. <laughs> burp, burp, burp. What even is this? <laughs> pow. One dies, pow, of course. <laughs> Just knocked down his whole team, basically. <laughs> oh my god, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. It is the power of positivity. <laughs> that was insane. In fucking insane. <laughs> oh yeah, missed one. One guy didn't get knocked down, but everyone who got blocked got knocked down. Oh yeah, two actually didn't. But still. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, this maybe is an easier way to chain the ball in the witch than, than what I did. I saw it late, to be honest. I saw it late. The uh, No, the witch is on six now. She scored in the first game. Um, so I guess this blitzer wants to do a completion and a touchdown if he can. Um. I need just a touch on for this one. Yeah, the dodge blitz is on 12. He's less important than getting dodge on the other ones. But uh, actually, after standing his guys up, I'm not in that good a spot anymore anyway. Really. Oh, that's pretty good though. Wow, these dice. These dice have been absolutely fucking nuts, haven't they? Need a mighty blow? No, I fucking don't. <laughs> If anything, if this game proves anything, <laughs> I don't need a mighty blow. Uh, right. Okay, good. Given giving him up to get butt punched. Oh my god, is another cast? What is this? <laughs> what is even going on? What is it? What the fuck? 
what even is going on here? Glorious manta rays! <laughs> Positivity. <laughs> Positivity, that is, isn't it? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, double one. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Double one in a death. <laughs> Positivity! Thank you very much, Malarez. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> His whole team's off, though. What the fuck is that? Oh, that was for the screen. No, no, it wasn't for the screen. She was going to go there, then he was going to go there, pick it up and pass it to her. Justice demands red <laughs> It's a double score! <laughs> what? What is even going on? I'll tell you. Right. One reroll over three turns. What an insane game. <laughs> yeah. It's almost as if there's a lot of variance in these kind of games, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Jelly, it's nuts, isn't it? It is absolutely crazy. Crazy game. <laughs> it is positively mad, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Yeah, the the delves. I mean, he has got one mighty blow, but yeah, even that is is pretty painful from from one mighty blow. Yeah. I mean, I w I wouldn't be complaining about it because uh, I don't complain anymore. But if I was a complaining kind of person. Then uh, that would certainly be be something um, that you would kind of think about complaining about, wouldn't it? <laughs> right. If I go there, and then I can block and get another block in. I should have kept him in contact. Maybe. One, two, three. Well, who am I passing to? There's no one left to pass to. I guess he just keeps it at this time. I can just run through here, can't I? That's okay then. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. And he can try and get out. Glorious. This is a bit weak here, isn't it? Three plus to run around the backside. <laughs> I'm not complaining. <laughs> Was that an English sentence? Not, not, not really, no. It's lasted a few days, Fluffy Burrito. It's lasted a few days. I think I've done pretty well the last few days, actually. Yeah, two cards, but one's a failed dodge. That's true. That's true. That's true. Maybe I don't do the pass now, actually. With only one we Hmm. Don't know, I could do the pass and then score with him. If I have to use the reroll, scoring with him would be alright. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, but I'm winning 1-0 though. I'm winning 1-0, Cap Villain, that's the thing. I'm winning 1-0, so... Got one reroll. I could think about... I could th think about the pass. <laughs> He's bonds with games like this one, that's true. <laughs> Right, so first things first, an unsafe move, that doesn't seem good, does it? First things first, I really would like to pass it to him. This is a 1 in 81, I think blocking here is good. I always hover, holy shit, I've got to stop the hovering shit. Now he can... Right, he can blitz. Make a blocks. Because I've passed one dodge, I can make another one. Hit him. Actually, didn't need a hit from there, I could have just hit from there. Oh no, I had to go through there, so it doesn't matter. Right, he's going to block him. So, can go for a pass. <laughs> Thanks, Marzen. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I've I've had great dice uh, thus far, but. Um, You know, I think I've I think I've remained somewhat positive through the bad games too. Uh, the the Skaven were completely annihilated today. Uh, I think I've I think I've done a good job at being positive. <laughs> Maybe he's a real deviant. <laughs> ah, so now I don't get to do the handoff. If I'd uh, if I hadn't used the reroll, I would have done the handoff to level him. But now I'll just go with the other one and then. Uh, they're both an MVP or a touchdown away, aren't they? Which is all right. I'm not going to risk a two plus without a reroll to, to to get you know to get the level. It's probably worth it, but on a one, I don't get any star player points at all. You know, so I don't. This, this, no, I, I don't think it is worth it because, sure. Oh no, don't say it like that, Kunaki. I, I was trying to be nice. I was really trying to be nice. Then I, I said it in the the nicest way that I, I possibly could. Um, I don't know. I think the two plus. Like getting dodge on him would be good. Awesome, I'll be looking forward to it. Good. He didn't he didn't get insult by no. Um this way I can score on either one and level them. So I actually I actually don't even mind getting on three here. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't mind them both being on three because then they're both in range of an MVP and then also I can score with either one in the next game and level them. And it's guaranteed. I I, I like. I like just getting the guaranteed touchdown there. If I had a reroll, I would have hundred percent hand it off. <laughs> yeah, Martin, exactly, yeah. Yeah. I mean even a handoff there, you know, you're just risking you're just risking not getting any, aren't you? As it was an MV uh, Lyman gets MVP. But twelve AV breaks against eight. I did make more blocks, but obviously he's armor nine. And uh yeah, twelve into four and three is lucky as well, isn't it? And uh, yeah, I mean it was a cra it was a crazy game in terms of dice, for sure. But um, and I made a lot of one dice as well. Dodges were really good, and they had to be. 
first off was horrible after he got the blitz. Uh, it was really loads of pressure on. I was really, I was really pretty fucking lucky there, wasn't I? To be honest. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. He he mentioned that uh, that he was yeah he was already talking about the YouTube yeah yeah that's the thing. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't just shilling, I wasn't just shilling like a dickhead. Yeah. Yeah, link the stream. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, and it was the end of the game. Yeah, I thought that was okay. I tried miss next game, which oh uh, shit. Oh wow. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to take it straight away because movement would be good, but um, I think I'm going to go my e block. Even though I'd really like block first. Um, movement is good. Movement is really good. So two journeymen for the next match is a bit rough, isn't it? And, and no witch elf. So the team is a bit shit next match. Um, with only three blitzers. Two journeymen. Nearly got the third reroll roll. So that's good. <sighs> for all double on both witches, not already had a mighty blow blitzer. Still mighty blow on both witches. Yeah, I guess so. Fuck it, why not? Eh? <laughs> right. Um... So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.